Welcome to another episode of Simple Sarah. Today in the show, we're going to make double decker tacos, kind of like they do at Taco Bell. So, you need to get all your toppings chopped up you want to use. Then, what you need to do is you need to get you cook you some ground beef, whatever you're using, ground turkey, ground chicken. Um, kick it up, and if it's um, got extra fat in it, Drain off your fat, put you some taco seasoning in a little water, and let it simmer. We got that. Then I got some refried beans. We just warmed up with a little bit of water to make them more smoother. <clears throat> of course, we got our lettuce. We've got shredded cheese, for the ones that want shredded cheese. Tomatoes. <clears throat> green onions. Cilantro. Chopped up for the ones that want cilantro. Cucumber. I like cucumber sometimes on mine. And then some nacho cheese in a can. So I'm going to show you two different versions. Also sour cream. I forgot to show you that. Then for the double de decker tacos, you need flour tortillas. And you need to use some hard shell tortillas. I just picked the packs up at the grocery store. Now, I don't know if you know on your box of hard shells, um, there was 12 in a pack, and you're supposed to warm them up in the oven. It makes them better. So you just follow that, and then you've got all that. So you've got all your simile line. So, we're going to fix two different um, double deckers. Let me move my plate out of the way. I gotta get some room and work. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna get me a plate here so I can do this now. You're gonna take you want their tortilla about the same size as your hard shell, okay? You're gonna take um your tortilla, put it down, and we're gonna put some refried beans. Put you a layer. This is our first version. So put you a little thin layer. This is going to be your glue. Okay, you want a, at least a good thin layer down, okay? Alright. Got that little spot needs some. Okay. Now what we're going to do is take a hard shell and you're going to actually wrap it around your tortilla and so you see so you're sandwiching it oops don't crush it like i just did be careful it's okay it's still it'll still hold its shape okay so there we got one of them i'm gonna put it in this little taco holder and then we'll get our other one i'll fix two with the refried beans and two it the other way. <clears throat> now, if I've got roasted mushrooms going for mine with taco seasoning instead of ground beef, but you use whatever you want. Okay. You can go almost out all the way to the edge. Don't put too much because it's going to kind of squish out when you kind of put your taco shell. And wrap it up in it. Just lay it on the side if it's easier. And then just fold over the other part. And then don't squish it. Okay. Okay. Now that we got the two refrieds. Let's fill them. This is just how they do it. One of the taquerias. Oh, you're going to put your little bit of ground beef down in here. This is going to be Jamie's. He's back to eat meat. So, a little ground beef goes in here. Spread it out. Put some ground beef in the other one. A little or is a lot, however you want. Okay. Now... 
you just put all your other toppings that you want in. So, let's put a little bit of lettuce. Thank you for the taco holders. If you've seen the chicken ranch tacos, I told you I need some taco holders. And somebody sent me set. Thank you so much. We're going to put some tomato for sure. And then we're going to put a little bit of cheese. He wants shredded cheese on his. Shredded cheese. Let's put a little bit of green onion or any kind of onion you want to use. He loves the green. Then we're going to put a little dollop of some sour cream. I like to put two little dollops. Sometimes it makes it better, easier. Then he likes his hot sauce. <clears throat> so, you put your hot sauce wherever you want. And then just, let's put a little bit of cilantro just to make it look pretty. There you go. There's your double decker tacos. Whoops, almost slid it off the plate. Your double. Well, my poor little sour cream fell off this one. Your double decker tacos. Let me put that up real pretty. Back up here. Your double decker tacos with the ground beef and refried bean style. Okay. Then on the other. And we're just going to take you another plate. And then you're going to put your tortilla down. This is the version 2. You're going to put nacho cheese instead of the refried beans. As your little glue. Then you're going to put your shell in. We're going to fold over the sides. See, that's your little glue. We'll put that out of the way. Now let's do another one. We'll do two of each version. This is just nacho cheese in a can that I just warmed up. Okay. Got that. Now let me get me my taco holder. <clears throat> Put these little things in there now the taco. So that's your glue. You have to have some kind of glue. Okay. This next person wants ground beef. Fill it as much as you want. You do your toppings and stuff however you want. A little bit of lettuce. They want, they want refried beans inside, so let's kind of put a little dollop in each little thing. Okay. And then let's see, we need tomato. You could do black olives, whatever you want. Push out my tomato so I can make more room. And then some sour cream. Hot sauce. Green onions. And some cilantro leaves. 
<clears throat> and then I'm just going to put a little bit of extra cheese on these. So there you have it, version 2 that you can get at Taco Bell. With the nacho cheese holding on as your glue instead of the refrieds. So I hope you like this quick little video. So you can have a taco night at your house. Which version are you going to do? And remember you don't have to do the meat inside. You could do roasted veggies and your meat. I've got mushrooms but they ain't done yet. That's what I'm going to fill mine with. And this separate with any kind of side you want. Sauce and chips. Um, um, refried beans on the side. Um, Spanish or Mexican. Um, rice. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye everybody. This is a short sweet video.